Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Miruko chan episode number 6. Alright, the previous episode, uh, we met a new character. We were already acquainted with her, but we properly met, got a proper introduction in the previous episode. Her name is Yulia and she can also kind of see spirits in a way and um, it's not as advanced as Miko's, but it still does the job in a way and she can like she's not uh like she's not as like the the the, the lady the old lady the old lady can only see sil barely see silhouettes of the ghosts but yulia can kind of see them kind of uh, see how they look like the ghosts and everything but she is not able to see certain ghosts which miko can see which is why they kind of fell into a little bit of a problem well yulia uh, lured uh, miko in into the uh, the closet the, the, what's it called the gym room the gym room yeah and <clears throat> the gym storage room not the gym room the gym storage room and uh, miko was able to save yulia from that but <laughs> by the end yulia kind of misunderstood she felt as if <laughs> miko was threatening her <laughs> not to say anything about this and stuff like that so yeah she's kind of traumatized about miko now and that was that that was kind of funny and then the next part we see how miko encounters an old lady whose house like you know in whose house there's like a spirit who is roaming around trying to tell the password of a of something of, of that safe that's safe and she told that to the lady and the lady like you know like did everything like was able to unlock the safe and the ghost was um i guess all the things that was left to be done in this mortal world for him was over so he the ghost thanked miko and went on his own way and then in the last scene it was like a surprising thing where we see that the ghost goes to that big ghost who kind of eats the other ghosts so <laughs> that was like you know something and yeah like um that kind of brings out like some more mysterious points as to what the actual thing is that ghost like are all ghosts who are content with their uh like you know stay on earth do they go to that big ghost and that's how they pass on or something new questions we'll see if we get answers so yeah without further ado let's get started and uh, this is episode number six of miruko chan so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Hmm. What's the problem? Oh, maybe, maybe there's something in there. Maybe there's something in there that only Miko can see. Like they did this in one of the previous episodes with the television. Like they showed everything from the other person's perspective. I'm, I'm sure of it. Like they're making it seem as if she is kind of like I'm looking at the price tag, but it's not that. I'm sure there's a ghost in it. Oh boy. Again. <laughs> but buns. <laughs> but buns. <laughs> All right. Well. What now? Let's see. Okay, something is happening. Okay, here we go. What is this? What the? Oh. Who is? Oh wow. Okay. Well. Okay, I'm sure. Like, you know, like they did this in one of the previous episode as well, and 
I did not, I was not able to catch at that episode, you know, that episode where we see uh, Miko and uh, her brother sitting in front of the television, the Miko was like, you know, so freaked out and just went outside. And I was like, what was happening? And then in the last scene, they showed us what was actually happening, they showed us the ghosts. And I'm sure they're doing something like this in this episode as well. Like they made it seem as if in the first, like, you know, in the first section, they made it seem as if um she's looking at the price tag and she was like you know she was like okay like let get that cream puff but i'm sure there's some ghost involved in that and they're going to reveal that almost at the end <laughs> yeah they got me once but they won't get me twice i understand what's happening now <laughs> all right oh my god oh yeah the g dreams like obviously <sighs> imagine seeing ghosts every time Okay, let's see if there's someone outside in that. Okay, then it did not show us. You know, there's like that one ghost in the place where they dump. This this is Hannah's. Okay, this is the first time we're seeing. Don't you have school? So weird so weird plushies <laughs> oh my god oh my god maybe there was someone in there but no i oh my god she's this is a breakfast what my god yeah like this girl is crazy <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh. oh okay so, so today is no school like it's a weekend or something oh oh damn i think something is over here hovering around but you know, didn't they say that Hana had like a aura which would not let ghosts go close to her? Like ghosts are attracted to her, but at the same time. Pochi. Pochita. Pochita can see something which you cannot see. Now there is something on your shoulder or something. I'm sure of it. Or maybe on his on top of her head. There's something. Oh, on her back. Oh, damn. Oh, this thing. It was the thing we saw before, didn't we? Oh, it's following her. Damn, the eyes are sealed shut. There you go, the aura, the, the, the life energy or whatever. The ghost is attracted to her, but what the? What? Oh my god! That. So, whatever ghosts come close to her, they burn to crisps.
Oh, because also oh, he she eats food. That's like her source of energy. Chico. Who is Chico? No, I don't think so. Oh, the this dog. Oh. Huh. Oh damn. Well. Yeah. Haunted. Well, there's a ghost hovering behind you, so I doubt. Yeah. Okay, well... <laughs> oh. Didn't she have like a... I guess not, like not a torch or something, like... Maybe her phone, like she can use it as a light source? Yeah, not to worry about that, you already have one behind you. There you go. <laughs> I doubt Chico knows that who Hana is. <laughs> what? <laughs> so warm. Yeah, she's her life force. Oh my god, this thing is actually roasting the ghost and eating it. Like, this, this thing is using Mi Mi Hana as a, I don't know, cooking flame. Like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> like my god. Um... Is Chico even here? Yeah, the oh there, there. The ghost is also looking. <laughs> um, I doubt Chico will come close to her because there's a ghost behind her, and I think like you know dogs and cats like animals can probably see these things. Oh my god, new f n new food source. Oh my god. Okay, please don't give any jump scares on. Okay, I think I think she found her. There you go. Damn, that's a big dog. That's a huge dog. I think Chico can actually see the ghost. Like that's why she's so quiet. She's traumatized. Chico's traumatized. Oh my god, Chico. Okay. Oh my god, Hannah's going to, uh, Nico's going to, see, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> Hannah's coming with some friends, you know, some new friends. Oh my god, look at him. So happy. 
roasting the other ghosts on top of her and then eating them. <laughs> wow. So that ghost is literally using Hana as like a, you know, like a flame or something, like a roasting thing, like to roast the other ghosts and eat them. <laughs> oh my god. What is this? Is this a temple? I think so. It's a shrine or something. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it is a shrine. It's an old shrine. Like, yeah. Mi Miketsudani shrine. Miketsudani. <laughs> yeah. Miko's very concerned about you. Because you... <laughs> <laughs> Because of that. Yeah. Oh no, it's, it's nothing that serious. Yeah, it's eating more ghosts and leveling up, I guess. Damn, this place is abandoned. I think because there are no people, this might be actually effective or something. Who knows? You know, like people don't come here. Oh boy. Wait. Wait. Did I I didn't think about this. How can the ghosts come in? This is a shrine, isn't it? Wouldn't they be stopped or something? Hmm. Oh my god, no! Um, I think that's bad luck. Isn't it? Or maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, typical Hana. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, wait, what the? What the hell? No, I don't. I think these are actually something different. They're kind of glowing. <laughs> Maybe moving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think. Th yeah, I think this is something different. What are these? Is this? Oh, okay. Oh, so. Uh, wow. Don't react. Don't react to them. Uh. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Demon away. Okay, yeah, so they're exercising them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these things are exercising. Probably because she prayed here.
Yeah, they're, they're probably from this shrine. Oh, oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god, this eating in this as well. What the hell? Mm, yeah, something else is happening there, unfortunately. No, stop, please. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh, what, what, what the hell? Oh my god. Okay, well. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a perfect shot. Yeah. Okay, I think, I don't know. This is probably, yeah, beings from the shrine. I doubt they're gods, but they're probably something like that. Like some divine spirits or something, I don't know. What the? Oh! Oh, these, oh, these, these two little... Um Wait, what? Um what? Yeah. Three times. Wait, it's can it can talk. Oh, whoa, what? <sighs> A million likes. Yeah, I guess like. Okay, so the thing said that three times, so... Okay. Okay, so as far as I'm gonna understand, it's basically, I, I, I guess, the thing that... The, the big, the big spirit... Is going to save her three more times, I think? Is that what it was saying? Like, that's what I think is happening, because... I'm guessing these, uh, these, these divine spirits or whatever, I'm not sure what they are, but... Now they popped out as soon as Miko prayed, um, prayed to the shrine. She said something like, "Yeah, like help me and Hana, like you know, destroy these. Uh, what do you call it? The ghosts, the demons, and <clears throat> that's why this thing popped up. These things popped up and saved her and Miko." Uh, save Miko and Hana. Now, then it said that three times. So I'm guessing it's going to help them three more times. 
that's how I think it is because yeah like I don't think there's anything else that it would mean by three times it's saying three times that means that yeah like it'll probably help them three more times and now here's one thing that I'm thinking um, <coughs> I'm not sure like wait just oh there's still something left okay let's see oh there you go the, the, the first the first there you go I knew it he, she was actually seeing something they did this before as well with the television <laughs> yeah it's so cute look at it Ah, just wants to go out <laughs> yeah what should we do we should let it <laughs> it's the last one true it is the last one Oh no, never mind, there's something else as well. Alright, it's not the last one. <laughs> Wait, so... <laughs> the ghost is like, what the hell? Like, you were going to... <laughs> oh my god, so... <laughs> so I'm guessing these little ghosts, they actually sit down, are like, you know, in, in, in the... in front of the sweet... Uh, the, the cakes and whenever people come you know and buy those cakes or whatever you know they i guess they kind of come out at that time and that's why it was waiting for miko and hana to actually buy the cake but hana was like uh, miko was like no i'm going to buy that cream puff and the ghost was like no why <laughs> i was going to get out finally <laughs> but <laughs> oh my god oh, wow uh. Uh, okay anyways uh so, so yeah the thing i was actually saying mm. so what was i saying oh yeah um the the divine spirits or or i'm not sure what they are but i think that there's something like that um they <coughs> <coughs> excuse me they come and they say like not they but the big ones say three times and okay one thing um i'm kind of i don't know like before the big thing it said three times before that um you know those other two little um fox kind of spirits i think they are foxes fox spirit or something i'm not sure what they are but the little ones the little two little ones you know uh the big one comes and kind of after destroying the big uh, the big monster it kind of talks with the other two you know and the other two kind of say something back to him and then the big ones say three times now here's what i think <laughs> this is like a wild assumption but i think it is something like this if you remember miko um prayed you know miko prayed and like gave a little offering and um i don't know i'm guessing because miko prayed and gave the offering uh, these like and, and prayed that yeah like let these ghosts go away destroy these ghosts help me and uh, Hana out of this situation these two uh, divine spirits they came and tried to fight the, the big monster but the big monster destroyed them but then like you know comes a big one and it destroys the big monster and like <laughs> I don't know this is like a wild assumption and I think the big ghost uh, the big uh, divine uh, spirit it asks the small little lit, two little ones that um uh, i don't know like it probably asks them that how like you know what type of like you know offering did miko give or something along that lines you know like uh something like that and the two little ones probably said something like that like yeah like she did this she prayed like this and uh you know like probably like you know something about the offering that she gave she they probably told that to the big divine spirit and the big spirit she like uh, the big spirit uh like it kind of and like understands that like not understands that sorry uh listens to the two little ones and then it talks to miko and uh tells her that three more times so it's probably something like that i'm not sure but i think it is probably something like that because they actually kind of talk for a second there you know like like the big 
like from this we can understand the, the big the big thing it can actually talk it can talk human language but before talking with Miko it kind of asks something to the two little ones and I'm thinking it's probably something like that and it probably asks the two little ones what Miko asked for and what was yeah there you go Yeah, there you go. I, I kind of checked that portion out again. They were talking with each other. So I'm thinking it's something like that. And probably the big one can only talk human language. That's why it asked the little ones and the little ones told them something. And the big one uh, then said that three, three times. <laughs> it's probably something like that. So I wonder what will happen after the three times go away. Can she renew this contract by giving more offering to the shrine? It might be, it might be something like that, you know, because uh, how much did she give? I think 500 yen, was that 500 yen that she gave? Who gave 500 yen? Was it Miko or was it Hana? Just a sec. Okay. Um. <clears throat> okay, they come through the shrine and... Okay, uh, all right, yeah, 500 yen. <coughs> Hana, I'm not sure Hana, how much Hana gave. Uh, it was like, a, I'm guessing it was something, I'm not sure, it was like a, the valuation was not written on it. Uh, but Miko gave quite a big amount, that's 500 yen. So, yeah, it's probably something like that. Like, I wonder what would have happened if Hana, if Miko gave like, I don't know, like a thousand yen or something. Probably like, it would, you know, the number of attempts would be like six or seven times. It would probably save her six or seven times for this. So this is why I'm thinking, what I'm thinking. So can she continue this indefinitely if she, like, you know, whenever the attempts are over, like, you know, of saving her. If she comes back here again and then again prays to the gods and gives the offering will they again come and save her like that's what i'm thinking because three times is nothing you know it's nothing like it, it's going to end like in two or three days like <laughs> like the way she encounters ghosts is immense so like it won't last much longer so i'm guess i'm, I'm hoping that she can renew this like you know like a like a contract again like you know come here and for offer something and then it'll, it'll get renewed or something or if this is like a one-time thing uh, yeah like i don't know what's going to happen it'll be a problem but yeah that was nice you know like the ending especially like we we, we have like a way like we know that there's a way to actually um well uh, can be safe from these type of things you know like protect us so okay so okay so th this episode here first of all we see uh miko not miko sorry hana we see hana you know and her everyday life as she like you know like, <laughs> she's like that type of a character like you know a ditzy uh you know airhead type of a character who kind of like you know is like jolly cheerful all the time and <laughs> like you know like there's like ghosts actually like you know around her but they don't actually try to go close to her because she has this type of an aura coming out which will probably burn them when they come too close that's why the old lady in the previous episodes said something like um the ghosts are actually attracted to her but at the same time if they go too close to her they're going to get destroyed because of her high life force or energy force so that's what we saw like you know the those little ghosts were actually looking from a distance but the thing here is <coughs> Han, uh, Hana encountered a big ghost which which obviously did not have that much of uh, um, like, you know, that much of fear because like this is what act actually happens like you know like if like even if there's like uh, for example let's see uh, like a mouse you know a mouse is afraid of a cat like whenever it will encounter a cat it might get afraid but if there is like some kind of a 
bigger entity, for example, if there's like, a, uh, what can I say? If there's a dog or something, you know, the dog won't get afraid of the cat. It will come in close to the cat and like, you know, it, it might, I don't know what I'm even saying. Like I'm, I'm, I'm taking a weird example, but it is something like that I'm trying to say, like the power balance here, like the big ghost obviously is not scared of Hana because it is more bigger and powerful, but it obviously cannot go much closer to Hana because it knows that it is going to uh, burn its hand. Yeah, okay, I, 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 I was, I'm able to come up with a better example. Fire, you know, take, like, for example, take Hana as a fire, you know, like, as fire, yeah. Small little animals, you know, uh, they, they might be scared of the fire, so they won't go actually closer to the fire, but humans, who are more intelligent and who have more control of the stuff that they do, they are not afraid of fire. They know that fire is dangerous, but they will go close to the fire and use it for their own stuff. For example, us, like we use fire for a lot of things. We cook stuff, we do a lot of things with fire. So, but that doesn't mean that we're not afraid of fire. We are afraid of fire. Like, you know, like nobody, nobody will actually try to touch fire because they know that their hand is going to get burnt. It's something like that with this ghost, you know, the ghost is like us humans and Hana is like a fire. The ghost knows that, yeah, this thing is dangerous, but I can make use of this thing. That's why it was hovering around Hana and <clears throat> those little ghosts that were coming out who were completely afraid of fire, you know, it was picking them up and roasting them on top of Hana and eating them. I have to say, this is like one of the most unique things I've ever seen with like, you know, ghosts. Like, I don't think I've ever seen any horror, <coughs> like, you know, horror or like any, any ghost stuff, which kind of do something like this. Like, this is so interesting. Like, imagine a ghost actually using your life force as a, <coughs> I don't know, as, a, as, as like a heat source to burn materials and roast materials and eat them. Like, like my example was very perfect because I compared Hana with a fire and that's what is actually happening here. Hana is literally a fire. And this ghost, like, you know, he was like, oh damn, like I, I found a good thing. I can actually roast my food before eating. <laughs> good stuff, let me just hang around this girl. <laughs> so yeah, that was basically what's happening. The ghost very much knows that it should not touch Hana because it, <clears throat> the ghost itself will get hurt. But, it was intelligent enough to use Hana as like a fire thing to roast uh, other ghosts and eat them. Like, damn, that's intelligent. And it started leveling up. You know, it became a bigger monster. And I think like if today the ghost was not destroyed, it would have probably hung around Hana forever. Like it would keep following her wherever she went to and keep eating things. Like and picking up ghosts and eating them. And, you know, it, it itself will get bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh boy. <clears throat> yeah, that was very interesting. And like, you know, like then we see Hana actually going inside that, uh, that abandoned building and finding that dog. And the dog was traumatized because as, like, you know, as far as I can understand, like animals can see these things. Animals and little babies I, as well, I guess, you know. So they can probably see them. So the dog was traumatized, <laughs> like, you know, and obviously the, the child and like, you know, they won't be able to understand what was happening. They're just content and happy with the dog, like, you know, like after finding the dog, but the dog, like, you know, looking at the dog's eyes, I could see that <laughs> he is traumatized, he or she. So she, it was a she, the dog was a she. So yeah, damn. And, and Miko, after like, you know, meeting with Miko, Miko's like, what the hell did you bring with you? Like, you know, the big monster was following Hana. And then they go to the shrine. And then we see, as I was talking about in the previous portion, like, you know, like how, what the shrine actually is. Like, now this thing actually surprised me. I was thinking like the ghost won't be able to get inside the shrine. You know, the big shrine gate or Tori, I think that's what they're called. You know, uh, I thought that the ghost won't be able to get inside that. But it, it just walked in, like that was surprising, I was not expecting that. Uh, I'm guessing the ghost was like a bigger ghost, so that's why probably it did not matter to him. He was able to get in. So, 
yeah and then like you know like miko like prays to the gods and like and then we see what happens you know the the two little little ones the two little spirits come and try to help her but you know they are easily destroyed but then comes the big one and it easily destroys the big ghost so yeah that's like i guess everything's well now as i said like, you know like this kind of gives us uh i don't know like a vague what do you call it a vague um i don't know like it kind of makes us think that this whole thing was because anna prayed here because yeah i think that is the reason why the spirit suddenly came and helped her because otherwise what will it be why did they suddenly come up and why did they suddenly help hana uh, help me go it must be because she prayed and gave the offering you know like that 500 yen so that's why i'm thinking like you know like if they can if miko actually continues this like you know uh like comes here occasionally and gives offerings and prays to god maybe even after three times uh these things will actually help them help her and keep helping her so yeah like she needs to figure that out because three times is not much you know the, the way she encounters ghosts is intense and immense like she she won't like i doubt how many times i don't know like, you know this will even persist like i'm sure she'll meet a, another ghost and might fall into problems like this like in within one or two days and yeah like so this 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 three times is going to very easily end very easily run out probably a week it will persist and then what then what will she do so yeah she she probably needs to come here again and give more offering here i and i really hope she figures that out because you know the the ghost the, the spirit kind of in a very vague manner told her three times i really hope that she is able to figure that out that the thing that the ghost is actually trying to tell her uh, not ghost uh, the spirit is actually trying to tell her is that three more times i'm going to help you out so yeah like i don't know we'll see now it's interesting because um the two little ones the two little spirits i'm not sure but i've seen them somewhere like in some other anime or something like what are these they kind of look like foxes with the you know mask and everything but i feel like i've seen these type of characters in some other anime i'm not sure which anime it is but it's probably something related to omyojis you know like um ah uh, which anime can it be uh i don't know exorcist no blue exorcist i i don't think they had these type of stuff uh like it was with like there were shikigamis and stuff there but and then there's like twin stars exorcist was it there there's another uh show which had shikigamis in it which was um tokyo ravens tokyo ravens i can't remember and obviously demon slayers also have shikigamis in it what else zesue no tempest that was another show which had shikigamis in it i think these are a few shows that like you know like are really focused on shikigamis and omyojis you know like as i said like you know, um, twin star exorcist um tokyo ravens um i think this no tempest also had them and uh, a few others as well as i said so i can't remember but it was probably some you know like either of these shows where i probably encountered these type of characters you know it, it's most probably tokyo ravens i can't remember it it must be because tokyo ravens is the only show which like you know which is which which is very much focused on these type of things like shikigami omyojis and and twin such star exorcists as well uh i don't know i think it is tokyo ravens something like that i probably saw something like this because these this type of a character like you know design like you know these the little ones with with the mask and the little ears i have seen that character design somewhere else before can't remember where but i have 
or probably in some kind of visual novels i've played it might it might be something like that i don't know but i think this is something i don't know if they have a name you know but i think they are some kind of uh guardian spirit or something i, I don't know like some kind of divine spirit be spiritual beings or something and since like you know this shrine is uh, a kitsune, kitsune shrine we can see that there are lots of um you know kitsune uh, statues here i think these little ones are some something like that some kind of a kitsune spirit or something like that it must be so yeah anyways that was it guys so that was it so good thing we have an actual method of counteracting this situation because all this time we were like it was all like you know uh, like we were all laughing at like you know haha like ghosts they are actually like, <laughs> like it was like a comedic thing but now that i'm thinking about it it is really a, like a, a kind of a dangerous situation that miko and uh, hana are walking through especially miko because she can see them so like you know like it it was bound to this type of a thing was bound to come sooner or later because what would actually happen if miko somehow slips up and she actually in her face like you know the ghost actually realized that the, like miko can see them what's going to happen them then you know like so we really needed a way to counteract this situation and probably we have that now and hopefully like the three times that the go like the divine spirit said it is not only three times hopefully this can be renewed you know if she comes here again and offers some more offering and prays more hopefully it can be renewed i don't know hopefully we'll see but yeah like three times is very less i i doubt anything is going to help in that three times so yeah we'll see so that's it guys so that's it thank you guys for watching this is my reaction to miracle chan episode number um six so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so that's it thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of miruko chan until then goodbye and have a nice day